That's interesting. Okay, we've got a Yoshi's Woolly World. So there's the Mega Drive, Mega Drive 2. Uh, this was the second version. The original one was sort of wider. Crazy Taxi. What a classic. Wasn't that on Dreamcast as well? Feel like it was. Let's look that one up. Gun on PS2. See what that's currently going for. Could be a gem. Don't know. Hello and welcome back to my shed here in Norfolk. So I thought we'd go through this job lot of video game stuff. Um, I've not even looked in the bag here uh, or in these boxes. Um, so I have no idea how good this might be or not, uh, or what's in there really. So I thought we'd go through it together. Uh, to give you some context, this was dropped off uh, by a neighbour who's looking to get rid of it. He said, go through it at your leisure. Give me a price and we'll take it from there. So I have no idea what's in there. So I thought we'd go through. Obviously, if there are some gems in there, I won't have looked anything, any of this up. But what I'll do as we go, if there's anything interesting, I will look up some eBay prices and put some completed listings on screen. So hopefully between us, we might learn something as we go about current values of this stuff. So that's the idea anyway. I have a tripod. I'm just going to mount you in it and then try and get you in a position where you can see what's going on and I can show you items as we go. So we have a big bag full of software and some hardware. There's a PS2 in there. We have, well, let's start here. We have the original Piano Black um, PS3. Does it say it's a 40 gig? Let's have a quick look in the box. Now, where am I gonna put you? So you can see over there. Does that work? Maybe. Right. Let's have a quick look. I haven't had a PS3 for a while. I think the last time I had some PS3 consoles was during first lockdown and they were going so well at that point. Anything video games was. Okay, it looks like we've got some extra bits and bobs. There's a SingStar mic crammed in there, a pair of. Okay, and that's the mains lead. Okay. There's a U Draw tablet in here as well. Interesting. Have a look at the console. Now, obviously, none of this is yet tested. We're just having a look through. It's very, very scratched up. But there is the console. Looks like nobody's been in it. So yeah, one 40 gig PS3 with box. There is an aftermarket pad. There is a official one missing the pad off the top of there, which is frustrating. So yeah, that's not great. So that's that. Right, I'm going to pop that back in for now. Um, I'll have a quick look. I'll pop on screen a similar listing, give you an idea what, assuming this works, what that may be worth currently on eBay. Now, bear in mind, this one has a, a damaged controller with it. There may be spare bits in that bag. I don't know. We'll have a look. I'll leave this out let's pop you back up there i'll leave this uh you draw pad out see if the software's anywhere with that i'll leave these other bits and bobs out apart from the mains lead oh it's a, it's a tangle hang on oh, that's what we got there yes yeah, so there's a controller charger and mains lead okay no tv lead that i can see in there so that's that we have a wee fit um these again during lockdown when prices went through the roof these are about as low as they've ever been because i think everyone's offloading them again now so it's not a good time to be selling wee fit stuff to be perfectly honest 
I do have some spare software if there's none in here. Let's have a look. No software. We fit board with these quite often they have aftermarket battery packs, uh, which there isn't. There's some batteries in it. They look okay, they've not blown, but I will take those out now. Anyway, pop them to one side. That's nice and clean, so that's a positive. Very often these are left with batteries in and they just, yeah, explode and cause corrosion and all that. So there's a Wii Fit. It's actually the Wii Fit Plus box. Now I did have, yeah, I've got some software, so I could put that to it. I will put uh, some completed listings on here. Uh, give you an idea what these fetch at the moment. I don't think they're great currently, but I may be wrong. And then the other thing that's boxed, this is nice. This caught my eye when uh, when it was all dropped around. It's a Mega Drive. It's boxed, but the box has seen better days. Look at the state of that. Um, so let's see what we get in here. Let's bring you down. Right, so, oh, it's been ages since I've had a Mega Drive. Really long time. So there's the Mega Drive, Mega Drive 2. Uh, this was the second version. The original one was sort of wider. Um, yeah, console, it's okay. Just a bit battered. We have one pad. I do have a spare pad as well. Something rattling around inside there. There's an RF unit. There's an aftermarket pad in here. Turbo Touch 360. Never seen one of those. That's a bit odd. Nothing moves. Uh, so there's that. There's the power cable. Uh, yeah, official Sega or Sega. Which do you say, Sega or Sega? Um, that's in there and some software. There's Sonic, was this a Sonic pack? Yeah, actually, I think this should have Sonic uh, 2. Uh, well, it's just a sticker on the box. But there is Sonic, let's check inside. Yeah, original Sonic. Oh, this game takes me back to a time. I was Nintendo at this point, but I had family members who had a Mega Drive. There's Desert Strike as well. Manual and cart inside. So that's cool. Um, again, we'll pop on screen um, a Mega Drive console, give you an idea and give me an idea what that might be worth. It's been so long since I've sold a Mega Drive. Back when we had the high street shop, which was predominantly a gaming shop, we were offered Mega Drives so often. There was a point where I think I was turning them away. We just had piles of things. Um, and demand wasn't that strong. So yeah, I'm, I'm sure I was turning them away along with game cubes. And those have gone through the roof now. <laughs> but it was a different time. We, we opened our shop in uh 2003 which is mental that's 20 years ago yeah so that's that then we have a big heavy bag woohoo of software and the console so we have the original fat ps2 there um yeah Looks like it has been possibly opened at some point. Maybe. Not sure. Yeah, I think it has. Um, these are very hit and miss as to do they work. Okay, but we'll try it out. We have a PS1 memory card in slot one there. We have the old official 8 meg memory card in slot two. So that's that. I'll pop on screen here what a console is going for currently, the old fat one. Have a look at that for you. And then what else have we got in here? Okay, here's the pad. 
that is an unofficial copy it's not a sony um so it doesn't have an official pad by the look of it we have an rf lead well scart sorry scart lead and a power lead there and no more accessories or hardware so that's not great i mean without an official pad that's yeah it's going to make it a little bit harder to sell we'll see uh we'll need to test it they, they can be really flaky um but that's that ps2 then we've got lots and lots of software looks like predominantly ps2 so friends on ps2 um i'll look up the occasional one that i think from memory has a bit of value oh jurassic park now something in my mind tells me this was a good one at least at some point let's have a look jurassic park operation genesis i'll find some completed prices or at least one give you an idea complete with manual let's have a look at condition nah, yeah mm, not great but i do have the disc repair machine which might be in shot in the corner there so i could potentially run that through depending if it's worth doing we have dance uk xl no dance matt with all of this Oh, I remember when this came out, Sega Superstars. There's some great games on here. Samba de Amigo, who remembers that on the Dreamcast? Shaky, shaky. <laughs> Super Monkey Ball, great game. Yeah, wow. Uh, but I don't think that holds much value. I, I'll pop a completed listing on screen here. Pretty sure that's still cheap. Crazy Taxi, what a classic. Wasn't that on Dreamcast as well? Feel like it was. Crazy Taxi. So take you back. Uh, first Splinter Cell, won't have much value. Driver 3, um, probably not. These games sold in such vast numbers. Um, they're so common. True Crime, Streets of LA. Metal Gear Solid 2, no manual. Quick look on the disc. Disc is okay, might need a quick clean up. Yeah, not great. Um, I'll see what that's currently going for. Pretty sure it won't be a great deal. Spider-Man 2, Lord of the Rings. So, so far, bog standard games i'll be honest apart from maybe that jurassic park um oh there's a wii game monsters versus aliens uh okay i haven't even looked in a lot of these cases as i've been going lacking a lot of manuals which isn't a good sign but no disc for monsters versus aliens but no great shakes because that isn't a great title. Ooh. I say ooh because GameCube, but it's Virtuous Striker 3. I really love the cube. Um, yeah. Had a lot of fun on that. Little three inch discs. Uh, I doubt very much, even though it's a cube game and, and cube stuff is is rising in value. I'll, I'll put on screen here what Virtuous Striker 3 goes for. Right, we've got some Wii U stuff. OK, wow. Super Mario 3D World. Interesting. Oh, oh, oh. This come flying out, but it has the correct disc in it. The case is broken in the middle, unfortunately. Does it have the manual? There's a little card to show you the uh, the moves and stuff, but no actual manual. Uh, not sure what that would be worth, whether the Wii U stuff is going up, but that is Super Mario 3D World. We'll take a look. Uh, we have Splatoon. No, we don't. Okay, interesting. 
Splatoon, big seller for the Wii U. I did have a Wii U. I didn't buy much software for it. I mainly bought it for Mario Kart. And then I got all the downloads. And then when I bought the Switch, it was basically the same version, slightly upgraded. Um, ah, okay. There's two discs. That's interesting. Okay. We've got a Yoshi's Woolly World disc in there. And Splatoon is underneath it. So we have a Splatoon with disc and no manual. I'll pop on screen what that's currently going for. And we have another Wii U disc only. The, the cases may yet be in the bag. Pokemon. Pokken Tournament. Now from memory, I don't think that's a great one. A lot of the Pokemon stuff is just going up and up. I'll find out on screen currently what this is going for. Um, I'll, I'll bring up one with a box and everything and then see if I can find a disc only and see what just disc only might be worth. Um, and the other one, we'll look this one up as yet as well. Sorry, Yoshi's Woolly World. Feels like yesterday this came out. Very cool, very good looking game. Um, that could be a gem. I'll bring up completed on screen here. Again, I'll do a boxed one. If I can find a disc only one, I'll bring that up as well to give you an idea. So we're getting through them quick. It looks like most of what's left is PS2. So I don't think I have the boxes for those Wii U games in here, which is a shame. Right, bag is empty. We have King Kong, feels light. Okay, we have Call of Duty Finest Hour. There's an early Call of Duty. Uh, no, we don't. Good old San Andreas. You pay only 37.99. Oh, nothing. Sonic Mega Collection. I think this feels a bit light. Oh dear. I can hear a disc, I can hear a disc. Uh, Liberty City Stories, but no manual in that one. <laughs> oh, the irony, the irony. This box is empty. It's not. Um, Mortal Kombat Armageddon. There's a disc, but it feels like there's no manual weight-wise. Yep. Let's have a quick look at this one. Oh, that's not too bad. So condition is lacking, shall we say, on the software. It's going to affect the value no end. Uh, we have gun complete. Needs a polish. Uh, don't know if you're going to see in the light. Um, I don't know if prices have gone up. Let's look that one up. Gun on PS2. See what that's currently going for. Could be a gem. Don't know. Uh, somebody was into their GTA, we have Vice City. I can hear the disc, but no manual, shame. Mashed, fully loaded. That was a fun game. I remember this game. Yeah, that was good. Is it in there? It's in there. Let's look that one up. See if that's uh, going up in price. Mashed, fully loaded on PS2, what are they going for? Currently, I wonder, oh wow, this takes me back. The Sims, 39.99, lowest price guarantee. That's a game store sticker, isn't it? The Sims 1, no manual, disc is in there. Okay, we have Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events. 
won't have a great deal of value, I'm sure, but we'll pop a completed one on screen and see. Uh, Hitman 2, no manual. Oh, the getaway. That's complete. Um, but it was a big seller. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, no. That's <laughs> that will need a polish, but it may not be worth messing about with. I'll, I'll pop a completed listing on screen here of Getaway. It used to be a super cheap game because it was so common, but I haven't sold one for years. Italian job. Uh, it's got an insert, but no manual. Spider-Man. God, this sold so many. Well, it's all in there, so that's a bonus. Still got its HMV sticker, $39.99 from HMV. I'll pop a completed one on screen here, current eBay prices. My guess is not a lot. And Splinter Cell, Pandora tomorrow. Oh, I remember this coming out. I remember ordering this in from, where would it have been? Centersoft, I guess. Is it Ubi? It's Ubisoft, yeah. Ah, long time ago. Long time ago. So yeah, Splinter Cell, Pandora tomorrow, again, would have sold in big numbers. I doubt it has much value currently on eBay, but I will pop a completed listing on screen here to show you the kind of average going rate on that. And that's it. That's that's everything. Um, yeah, that I need to go through and work out what I can offer on that. It's a bit of a mixed bag. Condition is pretty poor on most of it, I'll be honest. Uh, yeah, but you, you get what you're given. So I will be working out what I want to buy out of this and what I can offer. Uh, and we'll have to see if uh, if our friend goes for it or not. Uh, so, yeah, I hope that was interesting. I hope the prices I managed to find were helpful, give you an idea of what some of this stuff is currently worth. I'll be interested to see myself what the Mega Drives are going for now. It's a shame that box is in the state it's in. Because um, packaging is, is such a big deal with consoles. It adds so much to the value. If you can get a really nice conditioned box, you can ask a premium price. But... Sadly, that one has been used and abused. So there we go, a bit of gaming uh, content for you, because I don't tend to find a great deal these days. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, drop me a message below, let me know your favourite piece. I think favourite item for me, or favourite game in this lot, would be the Woolly, the Woolly World. I love Yoshi. Takes me right back to my Super Nintendo days when he first appeared in Super Mario World. That was Yoshi's first, uh, that was his debut, and I've loved Yoshi ever since. Um, I will find another video. I'll go back way back when I had a massive haul of video games, and I broke it down into two or three videos. I'll pop one of the Nintendo ones up here. Uh, so if you're into your games, check this haul out. This was much better than this one. Take care. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.